Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk, things that we get for free and we give them makeovers. Today we are going to be working on these cute little chairs. It should be good. We've got a lot of colors out. We've also got the uh, the IOD, Iron Orchid Designs, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Folk. Folk stamp out. And we're going to be doing some stamping. And I forgot to get my... Thing I was gonna roll paint out on, but that's okay. That's all right, we're good. We got lots of DIY paint here and we are ready to get started. If you need these paint and products, you can visit jamierayvintage.com. These chairs were given to us yesterday. Somebody dropped off chairs, a table and a bed. We didn't need the bed or the table, but luckily we live on the Bermuda Triangle. So we literally just put them on the corner with a free sign. And within a few hours, people that needed them picked them up and uh, took them on their merry little way. But I kept the chairs. They're super cute. And I Very knew they sturdy. would be fun to stamp. They're probably from Pottery Barn, actually. So I've, I've sanded these. That's why I got powder on my hand. I didn't wipe them down first. I should have. Um, but I sanded these because we were going to paint them. And Jamie's like, I kind of like the way they look all muted and worn. So we're going to leave them like this and stamp them. Yeah, we're going to stamp them, paint the stamps, then we will stamp over the top of that. Then, not on camera, we will uh, spray them with a spray sealer in our spray gun. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We need to... I'm Lots of videos on, on spraying sealer. If you want to see that, it's in the spraying paint and sealer playlist. I'm not super great at layout. You're like better at that department than I am. Um... Here, wipe your chair down, and I'm going to go find a mat that I can roll some paint out on because okay. that's the one thing I forgot. I probably forgot like eight things, but, you know. We did this on a piece of furniture, not last Friday, but the Friday before, but that video hasn't gotten a ton of views, so we thought we'd show you guys on a smaller It's because of my abysmal paint blending. No, my thumbnail's not very good on it either. So <laughs> I got to run down to the basement. I'll be right back. Okay. I will uh, get my design set up here. I'm not... Layout is hard for me. Anybody else struggle with layout? Make it look bulky. A little heart in the middle. Sorry, I've got to... Concentrate here. So I'm wondering if I'm going to need to uh, stamp it, then move it and stamp the other side. Because, like this, I want to go across the bottom with the center. I should have grabbed, we sell these mats that have like the grid and the, they have a circles for arches and everything oh, that's and that's how you're doing it all right i never i never use those mats i just use what the stamp comes with does it, is this only one sheet i thought this was two sheets it's only one sheet all right i'm back i got all my got all my supplies i think hold on i gotta move this straight down so what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have you make sure it's straight on here because you're better at that I don't have any lines. So this is going to be super tricky. Maybe we should stamp. No, we're going to stamp it, and then we're going to Maybe we should ink this. Then... Yeah, what were you going to do? Paint. Do we have ink? I think we have ink. I thought you said you couldn't find it. No, I found it the other day. So, we, yeah, we need to do one side, and then we got to do the other side because I got to mirror image it, I think. So what you do is you paint it, and you got to leave it all together like that first. Yeah, and then... Move the things that need to be duplicated and pull off the things that don't, yeah. right? Yep. Is that how that works? That's what I was thinking. All right, so this is my layout thus far. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm trying to make it look folky. Folky, arty, we call it farty. I just don't know if I want to use this flower or if I want to use that one. I like this one. Are we just doing this on the seat? Yeah, and you could do whatever you want. I just, thought it would be fun to like do something along the front, oh, yeah, along the skirt border. too. Well, let me get started painting this. All right. So okay. So we'll we'll have to do everything, and then we'll have to come back and do these. You're gonna do all of this, including these, and then I take that stuff off and flip those. Just flip these. Yeah, these are gonna go there and there. And then and we then won't put ink on these. Over there. Yeah. 
Okay. Right? That makes sense? Yeah. I have to check because sometimes my brain doesn't work correctly. We're using the Pennsylvania folk stat, Ruru. -Ru. Um, Jeannie, Jeannie, sorry, um, says to go and share. She says, I got some really fun happy mail for sharing on Facebook. They could pick you. Woohoo. Yep. So if you guys share on Facebook, because that's the only way we could track it, um, make sure, I think, I'm not sure that's centered. Um, then every week we pick a couple of people that win and we send them like samples of paint or wax that got dented. We send you stencils, all that's, kinds of fun stuff. That's the beauty of this. You don't have to center it. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> no, no. Oh, also you guys reminder now that everybody's kind of starting to show up um, Saturday, if you normally watch us on Facebook Saturday, you're not going to get a live notification. It, we're just putting up a pre-recorded video because we're going to be out of town. On YouTube, people still get notifications because we can do a premiere, but Facebook doesn't work like that. It'll just be a video that goes up. So be sure to check our Jamie Ray Vintage page at 8.30 Mountain Time Hang on, I'm gonna on Facebook. The live will go on. Zeb and I have already pre-recorded the live for Saturday. And then on YouTube, there'll be the live chat feature because it'll be an instant premiere. That's the spot. We're committed to that. I just thought these were like the perfect chairs to play with. I love stamp series. How much is this set? Oh, that is a really good question. I need to pay better attention to Pennsylvania folk. This set is $26.95. That's kind of cool just like sheet. that. It's cute. It's a really great stamp as is. Looks like I missed a little, but that's okay. I'll have to remember that when I'm coming back with the other one. This is just the, cause we're gonna color it in. All right, so now what we need to do is flip the Don't stamp. do any flipping yet. No flipping? Nope, because we got to stamp over this. And if you move this part, then it won't be in line. Oh, that's what you were trying to tell me. Yep, no flipping yet. I'm gonna get the heat gun and heat gun that so that way I can paint it. Okay, do you want to do the same design on both chairs? You, you do you, boo. I'm going to do, no, I can't do something different yet. <laughs> that's right. I can't. We should have, you could use a different stamp set. You know what? I think I'll just do the same design. I think it'll be fine. Okay. I'm like, I did not think about the fact that you can't move it once you set it up. We do have, you want, you want to get real Frenchy country, you could use Reverie. We, we could do even... something down along the skirt or maybe down the legs. You can make it very fluffy. You want to use this set? Um, we can if you want. Because we haven't used it yet. I'm just, I'm just here to stamp all the things you want today. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll try that one then. But get that one dry so I can start painting it because that's going to take a hot minute. Yep. I'm working on it. Hopefully you guys don't mind that crazy angle. These are child-sized chairs, Ruru. So yours must be the same as ours. These we got yesterday. You know what I like about these chairs? Is they're small enough you can kick into the corner of a uh, a room, a room, or like your your kitchen or your pantry, and they work. They're super sturdy, so they work like a stool too. Yeah, they're very well made. I love little chairs. We have a little rocking chair that's in front of the shop right now. That's super cute. We had a wicker chair that sold. I thought you were going to do Reverie. No, I might add that in. Oh, you can't add that to this. Yeah, no. They're like two completely we're different We're good. I'm just, I'm going to stick with these and we're going to, I told you, we're going to make a match. Um, do you want to do it on the front or do you want to just focus on the top? Let's do the top first all the way. And then if we have time, we can do something along this skirt. Okay. And maybe something up along here. <gasps> along the top. Just a second. I'll have this dry for you. Is it not dry yet? Okay, guys. The ink takes a little bit longer to dry than paint, which have... is kind of nice because when you use paint, you got to be quick to get it stamped. Yeah, that's why I was like, let's use the ink for the outline because it's because that's a big enough design all at once. That would have been kind of tough to get the ink to, or the oh, paint to not dry. It don't matter. That's getting painted. It's the base coat. Okay, yeah. swap, and I'll dry yours. Here, I'm just gonna put this back behind. We did, uh, 
a while ago, we did a dresser with the peonies stamp, a similar technique, and it was really fun. It's basically like paint by number, except for you get to pick all the numbers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom you guys in down here a little bit. Oops, that one's a little bubbly. Yeah. So we're going to, Jamie's going to go off camera for a sec. We'll get her hands in here in a minute. Can you see that good? There we go. I'm going to try to not trip all over the camera and knock it around. Okay, I'm just going to throw this up here so you can see it good. This is Queen Bee and DIY paint, clay-based, all natural, no VOCs. Amazing paint. Okay. La Campaign, that that would be a really fun one to do that with too, with the one with the rooster and the, there's a lot of really good IOD stamps. All right, we're just gonna dip. That's enough red. Caitlin, if you get a chance, can you link the entire IOD stamp collection? Because you could really do this with any of the stamps. So I've got it linked in the description of the video okay. if you can't find the link because it's cruising by in chat. And that red is like the black, it's so strong. Contaminate. Our little pot, we love the little eight ounce samples for projects like this. I mean, we could use bigger ones, but it's just easier to pull out like our whole bucket of eight ounce samples. I'm trying to Do get you, like there an any orange... other colors you don't have that you need. Oh no, I got it. I got, I got the whole rainbow over here. I'm just trying to mute that yellow and mute the red. And I got some kind of burnt orange going here. Well, when you're done with that and you need me to uh, dry it, I am ready to go. I'll come back and do that in a minute. This one I kind of... What color on the I birds? I added some texture to this one. I like the birds all one color, I yeah. think. I think um, like I a saw... farm freshy color. What? Yeah, we could do that. I think I feel like that's a little bright. What if I use some crinoline and mute that down? Uh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. You're the artiste here. You want some old 57? I'm going to need a, something to wash my brush out in. I'll okay, I'll get you a cup. One small brush. Oops, watch out for that. Oh, okay, yeah. so dab of crinoline. And then I got the farm fresh here, which is like a really good smoky green blue. Blue green, however you prefer. I'll give you the paint mug. The paint mug, perfect. I need to lightly distress this because I over dried that and there's like bubbles. Like bubbled the original finish. I think you can still see where the heart is. All right, so this is gonna be the color of my birds. Okay, so we're we're not done yet, Emma. We're gonna do another leaf and we're also gonna do the flowers that are lopsided. We'll go to the other side. But the thing is, once you stamp your image, if you want to stamp over it, you have to not move the stamps. So we're gonna paint this all up and then we'll paint the other one up. Then we're gonna mirror the image on the other side so that way it's not lopsided and paint those. But we cannot move the stamps off of our mount because we'll never get them exactly where they were gonna be. And we're going to stamp over the top of where he's painting, so. So now it's kind of just like a paint by number. Deb, what color? We've used Farm Fresh. So this is Farm Fresh and Crinoline mixed about 50-50, close to it. And then what did you use in the center of that flower? Um, that was Queen Bee and Marquee, just a hint of Marquee, and I had to add more Queen Bee back to it. Now, if you have any questions, this is a good time because this is kind of a one-man job. You could get another brush and come help me fill these birds in. Okay. No more questions. I, the thing is that this is brush is really fat. Like, I need... I can't Here, I'll do them. I'll do the outline and I'll let you fill in the middle. Okay. Or you could heat gun this bird and I could come back because it's going to need two coats on the bird. I think. All right, we'll do that. So if you got a shaky hand, put your hand down and then run what you can reach with your brush while your hand's down. And then 
nice thing about the DIY paint is if you get it where you don't want it, you can take a damp rag and fix it before you seal it and you're fine. Or like a little like Clorox wipe or something, just go around the edge. It's also not imperative that I'm like 100% in yeah, the looks... lines. This is not my kindergarten passing grade. So if you get out of lines and you stamp it, it's okay. It looks cute when it's a little irregular. Hold on, make sure that's all the way dry. There's I mostly like... just want to do a second coat on here to cover up these lines. That way, if I'm not perfect with my stamp coming back, it doesn't that I don't weird. have like ghosting. Oh, you forgot to paint the little legs there. That's on. Will you lose all the detail lines? No, see, we're going to stamp over the top of them. That's why we didn't do this side yet because we, we left the stamp on the mount. So as soon as he's done painting this, we'll stamp over the top of the paint and that will outline what he's just painted. So this is essentially, the first stamp is not to be for looks, it's just a template so you know where to paint. And, and like I said, you could paint by number with this. You could do each individual feather a different color. You can go crazy. I think once we get this one painted and we stamp, like you, you guys will pick up it. Now, my question is. Um, well, once we get this one painted, we might dry it and I might have you do the front, the front or something. Okay. Because we can back the camera back. I'm just showing them right now. In fact, let's just bring it back a little anyway. Oh, that's zooming in. Don't mind me. I'm just sitting on my kitchen island. Happens. Heat gunning a chair. Yeah, it's a great folk art technique. I feel like this takes people. Zeb really can do fine art. He has skill in that level. I do not, but I can even do what he's doing. I'm not as neat, but. Well, I got out of the lines right there. I can do it. Okay. Okay, that's all done. So now we just need to paint the heart. I like pink. I think I'm gonna go straight up farm fresh down here. You you wanna grab that pink out and I'll paint that heart. Yeah, I was gonna say, do we wanna add a little bit of um, kissing booth to the petticoat pink to just make it more rosy? So I'm not gonna super sweat. This brush is very used and kind of, the bristles are kind of splaying out like like fingers oh, that you can't quite fit in a glove. I thought we had some kissing booths in here. Is that at the shop? So this is farm fresh straight up. Here you go. So for the pink hearts, I want to mix. You can do one petticoat pink and then do the other one with a little bit of kissing booth. I'm going to pour it out for you. See, I got a little messy over here. That's not going to matter once I put the stamp back over it. Okay, I'm going to do you a little pink over here and then a little pink over here because I want to do one just petticoat pink, but then one petticoat pink and kissing booth. Okay. I mixed it up for you. I don't know why we didn't grab more little brushes. Um, there's a bunch in my drawer upstairs if you want to go grab them. Um, I think it's bottom drawer or middle drawer in my desk. Oh, here's, All my art supplies. Here's this one. Okay. Now you I've have, got hay You just have to dig to the back, Seb. What? Oh, they're, they're pushed. I'm going to try to not block you with my shoulder. See, look, here's two little. You can go as neat as you want, get a smaller brush. But honestly, if you've ever looked at folk art close up, it is not perfect because they're they're cranking out tons of art. Sorry, am I in your way? Nope. Careful. Oh, I see what you did there. What? 
What did I do? And then I'm gonna Ooh. go. What did I do? do you, you don't want that to be greener? No, that's just farm fresh. Oh. But like, I want those leaves to be greener though. Do we not um, have green? Yeah, we've got aviary. aviary right there. Put it on. You do do what you want. This is your design. Um, I don't know about that. I feel like it's now a combined effort here. I'm just putting color on. This brush is not the right one. <laughs> oh, it's no. called tipsy and it looks like I am tipsy while I'm painting with it. Okay. You gonna wipe that off or leave it? You can oh. go with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. Said it was okay. Well, that's a lot. It's a lot off. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. We just want to show them that it really doesn't have to be perfect because Jamie did it. I'll get back to comments. Oh, I'm not very good at that. Yeah, I probably should wipe that off. <laughs> Here, give me a damp paper towel real quick. I got a washcloth. The ink is permanent, so it probably will remain. <laughs> All right, well, just know that I want that ABR and I'll let you do it because clearly I need a better, more detailed brush for that little spa. See, look, look how easy that is. Because the DIY paint is water soluble. Now, if you were painting over DIY paint, you couldn't do this, but this paint underneath already has sealer on it. So it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, I'm gonna get back to comments. I made enough of a mess here. Linda says, I love this stamp. And Vicky Zach, Zach says, yes, I used it on a vintage travel suitcase. I must be talking about something else. Zeb needs a set of really small artist brushes. I have it. I just don't have it here with me. <laughs> Is that what you want me to get for you upstairs? No, I don't need it. I'm just using okay. the end of this brush. Trust me, he has access to every kind of brush you could ever need. We carry all of uh, Dion's brushes, all the... Well, look at this one. Can you see how it's all frayed? We've we've hammered it using it with waxes. We and... wax them. We use it for decor. It's, it's a thing. You knew a lot of things with one brush. You just got to figure out how to see. I just flipped it up backwards. So I'm just using this back tip now. What sealer do we use? We will probably spray Big Top on these or Sweet Pickens Final Finishes. They're both water-based and they spray out of our gun really well. Um, and we just use a spray gun. If you were going to brush this, I would let it dry really, really well, like a couple of hours then brush the sealer on lightly. Don't overwork it. Let it dry completely and then do a second coat because the DIY paint is great that when you get it wet, it wipes off. But guess what sealer is? It's wet. So if you take that sealer and you brush it hard across it, it'll smear it. So you just have to be delicate with that first brush. I'm going to go with some of Jamie's petticoat pink mix here. Now the question is. So this might take a minute. So like hang out till the final. Everybody's going to lose their mind till we finish stamping it. Joan's like, why is it unbalanced? So they're in the stamp set. There's not duplicates of those things. So we had to stamp it, then paint it. Then we'll move the stamp and do the other side. And the reason why we can't just do it ahead of time is because if you don't, since we're going to stamp over the top of this to outline it, if we move the stamps at all, they're going to not be the same. So just stick with us. I promise we will mirror image all of the items that are unbalanced. will get mirror imaged on the other side. We're just going to flop them. Gail says that she's done that with the DIY paint. Wait 24 hours. For us, if we throw it outside in an hour, that paint is baked on so hard. Like it's, it's so dry and so hot here right now. This is fun to do, like, even if you didn't have it on furniture, like stamping on canvas would be fun, like a great craft idea for summertime with kids, grandkids, neighborhood or kids. Or if you just want to do like a big Come canvas. Come take my kids and craft with them. <laughs> All right, that one's done. 
Gail wants to know how much it snows where we are in the winter. This oh. winter, so we live down in the valley. So down in the up valley, on the mountain, we, we got eight hundred inches. Over eight hundred. Over eight hundred like, inches. Actually, I think it was sword. over. It was closer to nine. Nine hundred. But that was yeah. like the wettest winter we've had in a very long time, like record breaking. Actually, snow we on did the we did break a record from nineteen forty. Yeah, so record breaking. Since they've been measuring snow, it's the most we've had ever. We usually don't get more than a foot at any given time, and it usually doesn't stick around forever. But I feel like it's really hard to say with a surety of anything because the first year we moved here, we had no. Like, we get more than a foot. We no, we, I meant like at any given time. Oh like yeah. One snowstorm is not going to deliver more. We got than like sixty a, inches of snow down here. Yeah, sixty inches cumulative over the season, but a big snowstorm would bring in maybe a foot of snow but uh it does melt um and doesn't stick around all winter yeah, we're, only at about we're not four... like back east where they have like eight feet of snow banks on the side of their road all winter that's not because we're, we're down in the valley we we're at 4600 feet and we're not close to an ocean so <laughs> carol says you're we're, she's like love the chair and how you can paint with your hands that close together you could tell you were meant to be together we have worked together on many projects. I think it also helps that neither one of us is a perfectionist. So if the other one doesn't do something exactly the way, occasionally we'll, we'll correct each other like on what we might want the other one to do, but we're pretty good about just going with the flow. I'm just over here like mixing all my, using this like a palette. It is ridiculously cold here in the winter because we get, we'll be a hundred degrees on Monday. We get about 10, days a year over 100 yeah about 10, 10 it's, not, it's not that bad if you think about it yeah i mean compared to and it's a dry at, heat it's not humid at all yeah once it starts getting uh we get rains again then it cools down and it's not that hot but it is crazy that we can be like zero degrees in the winter at the coldest and single digits and then we get to 100 degrees in the summer so the colors I'm currently using, I'm going through like Hey Sailor, um, Old 57, Aviary, uh, French Millinery, Petticoat Pink. I'm kind of just mixing them all. I've got some crinoline on here. And they'll be a lot brighter once we seal it. I'm kind of tempted to seal it with like this, like we can spray the whole thing, but I'm tempted if it, we let it bake outside to seal it live. Cause I feel like it's going to make it look good, but we'll see. Give it a sec. We'll see, but watch that camera. Cause we're probably coming up on the half hour mark here soon. I'll have to reset it. Actually, I want that to be a little lighter. Where's, where'd my crinoline go? I just got a text from Bethany. She's working on our, um, she's my stencil manufacturer. She's working on the craft kit stencils and she's hoping to have the designs done this evening. So with any luck, we will be able to do our craft kit uh, video to show you what it's gonna be like Monday. on Monday or Tuesday. Kind of depends on when we get those um, stencils. So the reason I lightened this up is because I'm stamping with black um, and you won't really see the outline on the flower if I don't lighten that so oh Jeannie lives in south dakota oh yeah and she that's... said that they've had five foot drifts all winter and had 20 below and now we can be a hundred degrees yeah that's miserable and oh. probably humid too yep <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> we the good news is we have a pool in our backyard so we try, we try really hard to get the, we have a 30 degree swing in weather. So like if it's a hundred degrees at the heat of the day, then it's like 70 degrees in the morning at the, at the low. Um, and most of the summer, the lows are in the sixties. So we can get our work done early in the day that has to be done outside. And that does help. Like we go do our garden work or we'll wait till like the end of the day once it cools down because our garden sh gets shaded. So like eight, nine o'clock, it's nice and cool back there. So we just change when we work. Okay, and you wanted that aviary, right? Um, yes, please. Yes, please. Shirley says we have a lot of rain. Now, there's a lot of places getting a lot of rain still. Zeb, can you fix the camera when you're done? Yeah. That it's like getting, sorry guys, we're gonna fix that camera. I know it's getting blurry. 
There we go. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Um, we don't have, we typically don't have a lot of rain ever. Like most of our water comes from the snow, but we had a ridiculously wet spring and early summer. It made it hard because we had such a long winter. The wet spring and early summer made it hard to finally get projects completed that we'd been waiting for for months. We were about a month later getting anything started because it was just so cold. I'd say a month and a half. I usually start going on outside projects like mid to end of March. Yeah. And I didn't get started on stuff until almost end of April. I always say this is a year it's going to be a chill summer. And then this is and then every year we have landscaping projects well, in fact today we do have to work in the heat of the day because we've got to get the water exempted irrigation about a month and a half we ago we found some but holes we're, we're realizing there's some areas that aren't getting good coverage we're going to change up some of the flower bed we had soaker hoses they're not working i need sprayers um and we need to add a few sprayers so we've got to get that done because we're leaving to Zeb's grandpa's funeral on Friday, and it's going to be super hot over the weekend and i won't be able to water by hand because usually for the last month or so since it stopped raining, I've had to go back in and water a few spots by hand, but there won't be anybody here to do that. Odelia is gonna be taking care of the animals, but I don't think she's also gonna to want to water things by hand. Oops, that wasn't dry. Why are you touching it, Zeb? Do you need a washcloth? No, this will be fine. Okay, you're gonna just fix it with your spit? Yep, I'll just lick it. <laughs> Uh, Jolie says, my hubby watches now that he is retired and did his first project. Love that Zeb thrifts and does so many projects. I've been watching eight years, but he's a newbie and loves learning from you both. That's awesome. Zeb is a crafty guy. He can build you a house and he can also glitter you a Christmas ornament. Bring it on. But I also can... It's do, all just I can do girly really stuff and then occasionally I'm like, a, I always tell people I'm a part-time construction worker because guess, who do you think is Zeb's helper when he's doing all these projects. It's me. <laughs> all right, where'd that, okay, here we are. Yeah, we're going to Arizona, so it's gonna be hot. We're going up to Sholo, so we won't be down it's in It's still Mesa. gonna be 100 instead of 115. Yeah. All right, so back with the decor ink. This is the black IOD permanent ink. Now it's gonna make sense, hopefully. So we're gonna come over the top with the ink pad over where we've painted. Then we will do the mirror image, stamp that, paint that, stamp that. Oh, we can't do that yet. We got to do the other chair. That's okay. We can redo. I already stamped the one. We just got to redo it. I already put this stamp on there. Yeah, but. Oh, you're right. I do have to paint it real fast. Get it. Can you get another? Um... What can I do for you? Actually, hang on. This is going to be tricky. So I got to really eye this up. Well, now that you've painted this one and you know the pattern, you should be able to put the paint down on the other one fairly quick. So see now, because we have to do this over the top and line it up, we couldn't move any of those stamps that need to be duplicated. Diana says she's driving to Texas to haul kids stuff back to Iowa. How are my levels doing? Uh, my iron's still pretty low, I, but we've been doing okay. Like my, my thyroid's doing better. Zeb's thyroid's doing better. I'm not the best at remembering to take all my vitamins. And I think also, I feel like it's harder in the summer to keep your nutrient levels up because I drink a ton of water, which reminds me of a new drink. And that kind of waters down everything that's in your system. I don't know if that's actual science, but I drink like a hundred ounces of water a day. That's what we were going for. I'll bring you in close. It still looks a little muted, but once it's sealed, that's all going to just brighten right up. That's all right, we cool. got to hurry and get that other chair done. Hey. So, what? Hey, what? Oh. So that way we can stamp the other side and people can. Okay. Oh, well, I kind of we... need to see that one so I can remember oh. what my color pattern was. It doesn't have to be identical, I don't think. No, it doesn't. And it go. will be a little different. Okay, guys, what do you think, though? Sholo does get cool at night. So. Yeah, Sholo's awesome. Shelly says she has relatives in Sholo. I spent my whole life as summers in Sholo, Snowflake, Taylor area. Yeah, Zeb has tons of family in Snowflake and Taylor. So my great-great-grandpa Peterson left Lehigh and went to Sholo. 
Yeah, so that's where his kind of, and we also found out that, so his great, great grandpa Peterson that helped settle Lehigh in the mid 1850s, we found out that there's also Petersons that went over to where our property is, the 40 acres we just bought, it's about half an hour from here. So we've got family ties there too, which is kind of fun. Try blood builders. Um, so I do have a vegetable based iron supplement. I probably should take it. I can do it right now. You're gonna take it on camera? I just forget if I don't like. Do it right while you're thinking about it. Cause I take my big old gob of supplements, but you know this why one you is, forget? Cause you don't like the way it tastes. This one is liquid and it's nasty. It's and called so you're like, no, I don't like Flora Dix. It. I get it on Amazon got irons and herbs in it and it's liquid and it's disgusting but it's like the only thing that's ever worked for me so a little tip since i since these legs are all kind of spindly i did not i i lined the legs up when i was stamping and that's that lined everything else up because we didn't move on that uh sheet we didn't move the rest of the stamps this is what i take floridix i can I could probably, well, Caitlin, if you're on here, can you get into our Amazon and link this? If anybody has an iron problem, this is pretty good and doesn't mess with your bowels the way regular supplements can. Iron I got to hurry. We're losing time. Jamie. She's over here moving on with her day. It's fine. It's good. I'm taking my, <laughs> taking my iron, talking to my friends. Uh, Marlene says she loves her rolling pin. <laughs> so funny story about Marlene's rolling pin. I'm going to move this because I feel weird not looking at the camera. It's like not looking somebody in the eye. I, uh, Marlene lives local and I didn't realize that. And Deb and I were shipping because we have a couple employees out and it's like super late at night. And I am packing this rolling pin. I wrapped it in foam and bubble wrap and I found the perfect cylinder and I packed the ends and I taped it all up and wrapped it in brown paper. Eliza goes to ship the label. <laughs> She's like, mom. That's local pickup. So I happened to be in when Marlene came to pick it up. And uh, well, we've got a few pieces in our house that are from Marlene. No, Marlene. It's oh, different. different. Not Marlene. Marlene. It's Marlene. It oh, may be pronounced okay. the same. I may be saying it wrong, but this is Marlene Black. Anyways, and when she came to pick it up, I was like, sorry, it's packed like Fort Knox. But I gave her the tip, just cut around the edge and pull out all the paper. And then the rolling pin is inside. <laughs> Have you, you ever tried SS Tonic? I've not. Can you come heat gun this paint mm -hmm. so I can get a second coat and I'm not dragging my hand on it? I am here for the heat gun. My mom has low iron too, but I haven't been able, oh, I need you to move that or you're gonna get it melted. I haven't been able to get her to. All right, let me get in here. Okay. I haven't been able to get her to use that supplement. There you go. She's very fussy. If she hasn't seen it on TV, she probably isn't going to take it. I'm like, mom, it's organic and all. Or natural. if her doctor didn't tell her. When and even if her doctor did, if she hasn't seen it on TV, she might not take it. <laughs> Allie Kett says, thank you for reminding me to take my morning meds. It's hard because I take, so I take my thyroid. Like, actually, I forgot that today because I ran Jack to football. Don't let me forget that. But I take it first thing in the morning and then I wait and I have a multivitamin that has caffeine in it. And I take that about a half hour later. And then I wait another probably half hour and I take the rest of everything because I don't like to do it all at once. I like to give myself time to digest, especially the thyroid. You don't want to take it with anything else. It's, a, it's like a process. I'm like 900 years old over here. Bridget says, I found two chairs on the side of the road, just like these ones. Now I know what to do with them. Thanks for the inspiration. Oh, that's awesome. Bridget, if you are in the Jamie Ray Vintage group, which is free to join, it's on Facebook, be sure to share a picture. I'd love to see them. Um, so Cindy says that Sholo is 180 miles north of Phoenix, but isn't it only like two hours from it's like two to Mesa three. where my sister lives? Yeah, your sister's on the outskirts on the east yeah. over there. My on sister the lives in what used to be Higley. It's but Queen I, Creek now. It's Queen or Creek Gilbert. now or Gilbert? I think it's Gilbert now, but it used to be Higley. So she's kind of on the edge of, well, she used to be on the edge of town. Town has spread. Thanks for sharing, guys. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. I love, it makes me so happy when I see our videos. It'll say like 
80 or 100 shares on a video. And I'm like, that is so many people that are hitting that share button, not just like commenting and watching and liking, but also sharing it on their page. So that means you like us enough to tell your friends. <laughs> Vicky, when you get your next package, Zeb shipped it. It was a couple of orders, actually. You had some really great selections. Did they change the name of the town? Yeah, it used to be Higley, but I don't think Hig Higley's done. Now there's a Higley High School and a Higley Road, but Higley's gone. It's been all annexed. Caitlin just dropped the link to the Floridix Iron Supplement. So in case you need one, I'm going to tell you, it tastes gross. Chase it with, with, with some water, but it's worth having. All right, heat gun. This one is going faster because I'm not like building the design Do you want me to heat as I gun go. It or... I got it right here. Okay. Thanks, Karen. She says she loves watching us. And Tammy's listening to us while she's working. I like to listen to people while I'm working too. Did you guys see Debbie Beer just put out a new video? I watched it last night at 4 a.m. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I woke up and I don't know. I was I hungry. I like was a little hungry before I went to bed. And I woke up at 4 a.m. like raging hungry. So I had a handful of pecans and sat down on the couch. So I wouldn't wake up Zeb and I watched Debbie's new video. And then I turned on um, XO McKenna. And then I dozed off till about 7.30 this morning. I also sent Zeb a link at four o'clock in the morning because I watched a video. It was Exo McKenna and the Sorry Girls, I think that's what it's called. And they did one on how to find estate sales. And I have a link to an estate sale finder because Zeb and I really want to try to go to a few estate sales and see what we can find. We've been to them before. We're usually sad, so we stick to the thrift store. Up here, it's like big business. Kim, I do have an Amazon storefront, but uh, I'm not very good at putting stuff in it. Caitlin's been on. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it while we're traveling. It's just I wish that when I ordered something, there was a button I could click to put in my storefront, but it's not that like not that intuitive. user friendly. You have to like sit down and add stuff to your storefront. But I do. I mean, I try to like shop local as much as possible. But a lot of the people that are selling there are actually like small businesses. We have a friend who is an Amazon seller, but he's a small business. Um, I know there's paint companies that sell on Amazon that are small businesses, but um, I do get stuff on a regular basis. Let's just say the other day, two Amazon trucks showed up at the same time, but it was just one guy helping another guy. I was like, oh shoot, did I really order that much? My life basically comes from our little tiny local grocery store, the hardware store, Costco, or Amazon. We don't have a ton of independent stores here like we used to. No, they're all... I get all my party supplies from Pioneer Party. That's another independent store that I like. Like, let's see what I've ordered recently. <laughs> Gail says, don't forget to take my thyroid medicine. I won't. Today is the last day for Prime Day. Uh, I just got some back I was looking. Packs, I didn't really see much I wanted. The dog treats. The boys got some Crocs. Uh, I ordered corks from there. I don't know where that supplement went. It was raspberry. That's supposed to be good for your um, hormones, but I don't know where it went. Like I know I ordered it and it came. Oh, it's probably back behind the Alexa. You think so? Tags for the shop. <laughs> keys for the golf cart because we lost the keys. Totally random things. Oh, yeah, there it is. You must have put it back there. How much are you supposed to take today? It's just sitting on the island forever. Three times a day. Half a milliliter. All how right. Do you know how much Did that I? Is? I think I just went straight up French millinery on these little petals. Renee does not have an Amazon account. 
I, I have mixed feelings about it because I know that there's better ways to do stuff, but sometimes I'm just in a hurry. I try to shop on Etsy as often as I can. Occasionally we break down and go to like a department store, <laughs> but pretty much everything I wear either comes from jamierayvintage.com or Costco because I'm lazy. Susan says that she's been watching us for months and she ordered paint. She can't wait to get them. And she has some projects. She hopes they come out as good as ours. The thing with projects is practice makes perfect. What color is the base of the chair? So these are the actual, the colors that were on there when we got them. Zeb sanded them down and distressed the original paint finish. And we are just working directly on that. We decided not to repaint We were going to paint them and we're like, you know, by the time we paint them, we won't get to any stamping. Yeah. Because it's a live stream, so. The thing, I find that if I do something, um, if like online, if there's an app, it makes it easier. So if you guys like to do shopping from an app where it's convenient, we do have a Jamie Ray Vintage app where you can get our paint and products and you can set up an account, which makes it like faster to check out. And it remembers your points. And it remembers your points because we have a point system. You can earn points for shopping on our website and then redeem those. I've actually seen a lot of people redeeming their points. So if you do like shopping from an app and you want to support a small business, just download the Jamie Ray Vintage app. And the other cool thing is if when you download it, you turn on push notifications. Anytime we have a sale or new products come in or the Saturday thrift haul, we send a push notification out and then you'll get a notification through that app. Okay, let me see if I can remember the colors on this one. Renee's likes to shop in person. I used to love shopping, but now I shop so much, I get my fix from work. I mean, we go thrifting every week and spend hundreds of dollars. And then Ivy does most of our ordering, but I do a lot of our new products that come in. I do that ordering. And so I spend a lot of time shopping, but it's work. So sometimes I'm kind of over it. Dav Lu says, what is the best type of paint to use on a basket that is woven with about half inch grass strips? So you could totally use DIY paint. It's clay based. That would adhere really well to it. Um, and then you just want to seal it. So you just, I would get big top and just brush the sealer on. I think waxing a basket might be difficult. Or if you want to just dry brush the basket and you don't want to have to mess with sealing, you could order our cottage color line that has a built-in sealer. So that might be even better to paint a basket because baskets are notoriously difficult to get the paint on, then you gotta seal it. Um, and my favorite thing to do with baskets instead of getting full coverage is just a loose dry brush instead of like completely covering the basket because it is a little bit difficult to get in all the nooks and crannies. Or if you have access to a sprayer, you can put our paint into a sprayer and spray the basket. Diana said she just downloaded the app. Thank you. Yeah, it makes things really convenient and easy. All right, one more flower, then we can clip this and do the rest of the design. Oh, that is a good idea. I don't want to do a border. Pam says to stamp something here. Okay. That'd be so cute. Thanks, Pam. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like Pam's coming up with all the good ideas here today. Um, do you want to do like this one? Hang on. That's what I'm thinking, just this one in the back. Yeah, you want to do that other chair? You can stamp that one. Yeah, I'll get <clears> the stamp Just do like a here. freestyle stamp on it. Yep. This is why we go live, Pam. It's not just because we want to show you stuff. It's because we need our think tank. You guys help us come up with good ideas. And realize we were like looking at... There we go. Someday we'll get two cameras and multiple we, angles. And be we need cool. better internet. I'm waiting for him to put fiber in here. Susan says, I put, hold on, let me put this in the middle. A transfer over cottage color. What should I seal it with? You can seal it with anything. So you can use clear wax. Um, if it's going to be high use, I just throw on some big top. Just know if your sealer's got like a lot of smell to it, like a high VOC sealer, it doesn't play well with the transfer. Yeah, you want it to be water-based. So use the sealers that we carry because I for sure can tell you they'll work fine. Um, but 
if let's say your transfer is just right here, I would seal the whole seat because even though the sheen would be similar to cottage color, you can kind of see where you stop. So do it and feather it out all the way to the edge and you'll get a much more even coverage. I am not very good at this. There's like, Did we you, might have to sand it later. Could you ghost it? No, but I got a little line from the edge of my stamp. What do you think? Should we do something up here too? I think just this, but I don't know. And we could do something across the top. Now you got me doing extra stuff, Pam. But no one's going to see that. No one's going to see what? They're going to have to just guess what you're doing. Well, I'm debating what I'm doing. I'll show them. Should, what do you think, Zeb? Should I leave it the way it is or should I do another stamp the reverse? I wouldn't. Oh. To like fill the that's space. That's a different one. Yeah, that looks good up there on that other scallop or whatever you want to call that edge. They said add a heart. I kind of think we're good on hearts. You could put a heart like down here in the middle, but I'm going to let me add this next stamp. Did I go straight up? Boho blue? I don't think I did. Or not boho. This is uh, Hey Sailor blue. All right. This is what we're doing on the top. I think that's cute. When you're done with that, I'll do this one. So all he has to do is finish that. Then we can stamp over the top of it, finish this other side. Vicky says no more. Vicky's in charge. I, I vote no more too because it makes me it stresses me out some people are really good at just layering on all the things and I'm like oh I try to have just a little bit of restraint because I don't like too much the molds would be cute to add on this like and you could add some on top we're probably not going to because I think we're going to call it but that would be fun. I think you need leaves on the top left of that seat. That yes, we're going to add the leaves here in just a second. We'll so show you if you've been hanging out. And if just you've been hanging waiting, out, we're going to bring you home. It's about to come home right now in like two minutes. Yeah, because Zeb had to finish painting each seat so we can stamp over the top. Then we can take these, move them over here. This, move it over here. Stamp it. Paint it. Stamp it. So our live might go a little bit long. I want to at least get one completely done. So that way you guys, you've been with us. Well, you can start painting that one in. For a while. I, I can, you'll let me. Yeah, but you're going to have to be neater than you were. Like use the edge of this, <laughs> use the edge of this brush. Give me the good brush. <laughs> what color do you want me to paint them though? Whatever you want to do. Those are yours. Okay. So I'm just going to restamp this. It's not that she can't be neat. It's that she just needs to slow down. Uh oh, and I need to slow down too. Yeah, watch it. Just kidding. All right, I'm going to get in the middle here. I can be kind of neat. Oh, you can be really neat. I've seen it. No, I don't like to. I haven't taken my thyroid yet, so I'm not running on all the eights. All right, this one, I gotta line it up, so. You're gonna have to do the stamping over the top though. Oh. All right. As it is, I'm going to have to get a sandpaper and fix where I overstamped there. Okay, now I'm just going to make sure I press down on the whole thing really well before I lift up because typically if you got to redo this again, you're just going to get ghosting and maybe even more ghosting depending on your design and your pattern and how well you painted over the top of it. 
So this is the reason. So we only have two of these flowers. So now that we've got and one of these wreaths that are like that. And so now what we'll do is we'll flip these over here. You're going to work, Eliza? Ta -da. So that one's looking pretty good too. There we go. What do you think? Did I do okay, Zeb? Does it pass the Zebra test? I think you did amazing. Do we still need to stamp that or did you stamp it already? Um, yeah, you need to stamp that one that you're working on. Okay, so this one this. here. And we need to stamp over the top of it, but I'm going to let you stamp. I'm going to bring this little it. flower right up over here on this side. And I made a mess over here. I'll just sand that off. I'm just going to try to mirror that a little bit. Do I have to second coat this or can you stamp it neat? Okay. So did you see how I, what I did there? And then this one here, it's going to bring this. Oh, that's going to have to, that's going to be a little lower on this one because it kind of falls off of the design. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of these. Well, I kind of want those to be on there. Let me wipe off the These ink. look so like Dutch, Swedish. They're so cute. Eliza's taking her little golf cart to work. So I'm pulling the ink off because I don't want ghosting. where I'm gonna go do this other design. Becky says she completed four rocking horses from our, one of our paint kits. That was last winter, wasn't it? She said, planning to sell them at the Junk in the Chunk market in Scottsdale. I hear that market is really cool. Pam says, not Swedish. Looks Swedish to me. Yeah, there's a lot of Scandinavian uh, influence on this design. A lot of the Mora clocks. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to kind of line my birds up here. Get this other wreath on here. Leslie just woke up. Good morning, Leslie. All right, now, here we go. Do they allow golf carts on the city streets in Lehigh? That is a good question. Um, no, but they don't mm -hmm. stop it either. It's legal in the state of Utah, but each municipality has to make their own rules. And Lehigh has, Lehigh has like a no rule on it. So we are rebels, but they allow uh, electric bikes. Ele and it, if it was street legal, you could do it. Like our, we have a, uh, what is it called? ATV or UTV? Mm -hmm. And it's street legal. We can drive that because it's street legal. But, um, Electric bikes and electric scooters go way faster than our golf cart, and those are fine. So same, same. So one of the tricks with stamps that you need to know is once you wash them, make sure that there's no dust on the back so that way they'll stick back to their um, backer. Another thing to keep in mind, we have hardly ever shared this, and recently we did, and we're selling way more of them. We sell these envelopes. You can get three for $9.95, and you can put your stamps. They have what's called a mask. They help you layer your stamps, and you can put it all in this envelope, and it keeps everything together. So my goal by the end of the summer is to get all of my stamps organized, and then I just, you can tell I'm not neat. I just ripped off the stamp label so I know what stamp it is. I'm sure some people cut it out and tape it on. And Okay, you are going to stamp this one. Oh, you want me to stamp the top? Hold on. Yep. There's stuff there. Have you do that. Okay. And you're going to paint that one, and then we can stamp over the top of the one I already painted. Yep. I think Caitlin told me she rescheduled some of her appointments, but Caitlin, if you do need to go, I can monitor comments, but we should, we'll probably should only be another five, 10 minutes finishing. That's not going to be super long. I need this. Caitlin's not going anywhere now. Okay. I just need to see where this bottom one was. Hold on, I'm gonna have to lay this down. <laughs> so I'm not gonna paint it right now. Well, I need to know where this 
go. So they Here, match. Let's see if we can see what you're seeing. Did I mess the camera up? Uh, no, they can see what I'm doing. I'm just matching where those were decently well. And then I'll do this. You can like angle it down a little bit more. You can see where I'm putting this little one on the top. I'm, I'm a mess. This one's a little easier because I like butted it up to the top. So I just have to center it. Okay. Now you can paint that. Do you want me to second coat this or you think you can stamp it right over top I of it? I can stamp right over the top of that. Okay. It's all right if you're just tuning in, Leslie, because the idea of what we're doing, we're still doing it. So we're taking the IOD stamp, stamping it to make a pattern, painting in the pattern, and then stamping over the top. All right, here, while I'm doing this one. Heat gun that and fill it in. Oh, you're making me work. I know. Just, where'd you do my heat gun? Party time's over. Play time's over. All right, bye now. This ink does take a little longer to dry, so make sure your ink's all the way dry. Otherwise, you'll just smear it when you're painting it. This reminds me of like... I can't paint it because you have the palette. In art class, when we had to outline um, like watercolor, do like watercolor and then we'd outline it. Yeah. All right, so it's heat gun, but you're going to have to paint it because you have the brush and the palette. Cooper's on here. Hello, Cooper. Can you use farmhouse milk paint from outside? Yes. Um, milk paint's fine outside. Just paint it, let it dry completely, and then just use your favorite outdoor water-based sealer. It'll work great. Oh, we need to fix the camera. It's been an hour. Oh. Bonus time all over the place this week. Yeah, I was going to paint that, but you have the brush and the paint, so I'll just let you do it. We'll just get one finished all the way. So if you paint that one, stamp over the top of it, I can stamp over the top of the top part that I did and they can kind of see what the finished look is gonna be. Leah says, these do look Dutch. Thank you. Vicky says, the lavender eye pillows that Rustic Rehab sells are made by my daughter. Oh, that's super fun. Yeah, I love the Pennsylvania Dutch stamps. We've done a lot of like full Clorico, like Mexican folk art stencils that can be used to create a similar look. So it's definitely a style that I like. Tracy says it looks like Swedish folk art. Yeah, if you've ever seen like a Mora clock or some of their painted furniture, um, it looks a lot like that. Sorry, Leah. I've seen your question a few times, but every time you've asked, Zeb was talking, and by the time he stopped, I forgot. <laughs> it rolled off my conveyor belt. Buttercup is due the end of September. And for those of you that are new, Buttercup is our milking, our family milking cow. She boards at the backyard, the back pasture of the neighbor to our retail store. They have about, uh, they have a half acre and about two thirds of it is unused. And that's where Buttercup lives. And she's by herself, but it's funny because I was reading this thing about cows. They don't like to be alone. And when they're happy, they groom each other. Well, she grooms the horses that are next door. So she doesn't have any cows that live in pasture, but there's horses next door. And she goes right up to the fence and starts licking their faces. She's going to get a new buddy here pretty quick, though. She's making a buddy. How long will her baby stay with her? We don't know. Like, we got rid of our sheep because we just felt like it was too much um livestock in a small area and we have our chickens so maybe if we get rid of some of our chickens we can keep the baby a little bit longer but just depends on whether it's a boy or a girl if it's a boy then her baby will be if it's a, a boy i'm cow. gonna i'm gonna quickly fence the 40 acres yeah. and once he's weaned we'll uh, run him out there 
well, put, maybe get a few other cows and we'll have them out um, on our 40 acres. And then if it's girl, we'll sell her because girls for milking cows, because she's going to be, if it's a girl, it'll be a half mini Jersey. And then she'll have the A2 gene, which is really desirable. And a lot of families are looking to have a smaller milking cow and she'll be like three quarter size because <laughs> her mom's full size and her dad would be a mini. Well, her dad's like a super mini. He was 37 inches tall at his yeah. shoulder. We bred Buttercup with a super mini because we're not worried about having a giant baby and we wanted to make it as easy as possible on her. So, Well, we want a little mini cow. Make a scratch post for her. So she has a big tree. She has two she, trees. She has trees she scratches on. She's got her. And she eats them too. They're like the bark's eaten up as far as she can reach. <laughs> They're garbage trees. They're not like anything anybody's going to be sad about if they don't survive. They're Chinese elms that grow like weeds. Jana says, would this be a good time to, to go over the different painting products you carry? Um, I can. Uh, I'll try to go slow, but there's a lot of information. So we carry three kinds of paints. Um, we have milk paint, which comes in milk paint and farmhouse finishes. It's powder form. You have to add water. It's um, food safe. And it lasts pretty much indefinitely if you don't add water to it. So that's great. Good storage oh, life. Um, it, regular milk paint can get super chippy. So sometimes people like farmhouse finishes because it has bond built into it. Um, and then there's DIY paint, which is what Zeb is using. It's clay based. It's five times more pigmented than your standard paint. So it works great for artisan type finishes. It's good for blending, for fine art. Um, you can water it down and make watercolor. There's just like so many things you can do with it. Um, and it doesn't have to be mixed. It comes mixed in a container. It really doesn't even have to be stirred. It doesn't really separate because it's only got nine ingredients in it. Also all natural. It has not been bio certified to be food safe, but it's very natural. It's like I, I would venture to say that if it went in to get certified, it probably wouldn't have a problem, but I can't say that with a surety because we doesn't have the government stamp. Um, and then there's the cottage color paint, which is our paint line with DIY paint. And that is a mineral based paint with a built in sealer. It's self leveling. Um, and we're starting to expand our color line. We currently have eight colors. We're hoping to come out with some darker hues soon. And that paint is, you do have to stir it because it has the top coat. So that's a little bit different. Um, and it works great if you want just like single color or a base coat. It's self-leveling, which is nice. Whereas like the DIY paint has a lot of texture. Um, the other thing that's different with the three paints is the DIY paint and the milk paint. Um, when you sand them, they like powder because they're very porous, almost super dry paints because there's no sealer in it. Whereas the cottage color, you got to be careful when you distress it because it's not going to powder. Because it has that built-in I feel like it gets powdery. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's still a mineral-based paint. It powders, but not the same. No. Like if that's what you use your... And DIY paint and milk paint and farmhouse finishes all have to be sealed. So either wax or a water-based liquid top coat. Um, and on the milk paint, if it's super chippy, just use wax. Because if you put a water, like something liquid, it'll make it chip even more. There's like a million more things I could tell you, but those are the basics. Um, we carry all the paints at jamierayvintage.com. I'm well versed on those product lines because those are literally all we use for pretty much everything we do. Um, and then we also carry JRV stencils, which are designed by Zeb and I, manufactured in the USA. And we have retailers that carry it all over the country. Um, we have JRV stencil brushes. Also, um, they're partially assembled overseas, but the company is in the US and they get fully assembled here in the US in New York with a company that's been around for over a hundred years. Um, and they make that for us. DIY has paint brushes and they are made to go with the clay based paint. They work really well. They carry the turquoise Irish, Irish, Iris artist brushes. We also carry iron orchid designs and they have stamps, molds, transfers and inlays. Stamps are what we're using today. Molds you see us use a lot with clay or resin. And a transfer is like a really thin artist quality vinyl like sticker that you can put on furniture. And an inlay is actual paint that you activate and it fuses with the paint that you're putting it on. And it's um, not like the sticker your kids are gonna put. Yeah. On... It's hard to explain transfers, but that's like the best way I can explain it. 
It's literally um, like a trans, like a decor transfer. Yeah, and transfers and inlays have to be sealed over the top. So uh, I like to spray on a sealer or you can brush it. If you brush over an inlay though, just be careful not to smear it. I have had success with a DIY brush because they're so light that if you put your sealer on and quickly, lightly go over it, then let it dry before you overwork it, it won't smear. But if you are heavy handed or you have a brush that's got stiff bristles, you're not gonna wanna use that over an inlay. I think that's most of what we carry. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> I mean, we also got salt wash and- Linda said that uh, she'll be having a half pint. That's what the cow's gonna be having. Yes. Painted my kitchen island with DIY paint. What sealer do you use? So I would say our most durable sealer is final finishes by Sweet Pickens, but I do want to give the caveat that it is not all natural. It does have some light VOCs in it. So if you're super um, sensitive to those types of things, then use um, DIY's Big Top. To get a more durable finish, you do have to have some chemicals in it. So that's why it's not completely no VOC. So keep that in mind. I would say Big Top would also be fine. We've used that and we've also used Sweet Pickens Old Finish that used to be all natural before they came out with final finishes. But the new final finish Sweet Pickens top coat that we carry is rock hard and you can get it all the way up to a gloss finish. So a little bit more um, customization because you can get matte, satin, or gloss in that. <laughs> Rosemary says, us older people call transfers rub-ons. So Rosemary, I remember the rub-on transfers. You used to get at the craft store. They were smaller, not quite as detailed. And I used to put them on stuff all the time when I was a little girl. I've been crafting pretty much my whole life. Vicki says, we have so much good stuff. It is, we do have a lot of stuff. We also carry- Pretty much everything we use on the videos <laughs> we have on the website. We also carry- uh, Seeds, if you want to grow a garden, we have Bath and Beauty products. We have our own all-natural skincare line. Um, we have clothing. <laughs> we have kitchen soap, French soap, candles. Anything I like that I have a hard time getting a hold of, I carry in my shop. Um, because I figure if I don't see it everywhere, then it may be something that other people aren't able to find. And so I try to carry those items in my store. We're going to have to sand that or something. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. You got super shifty. Like I had to shift it <laughs> to make it work. That's what I was talking about, that I did a little halo. I didn't get it on the other one because I cleaned off my stamp. Um, is Salvation Solution a sealer too? Um, I actually don't know, but I think you probably could use the clear. I have to say I have dry brushed with Salvation Solution in white, and it's fine. It doesn't have as much sealer properties as Cottage Color. So you could dry brush with it and not have to seal over it. I would think that would be fine. Just bring you back down. All right, guys. We'll finish the other one off camera because we're now about 15 minutes over our hour for this video. I will get these sealed um, and I'll put them in the video that's going to be going up Thursday night. So our Furniture Friday videos are now going to start going up just whenever I get them edited. So you can check for them Friday morning or watch for them on Thursday. There we go. But I'll get I'll get these sealed up and put them in the end of that All video. Right, so, so this you guys one can still needs it. a little more paint and some stamping, but you guys get the idea there. So now I expect to see all kinds of folk art in the Jamie Ray Vintage group because um, you know we've done it a couple times now, and it's it's time for you guys to experiment. I'm hoping next spring they come out with more folk art designs because these are really popular and I personally love them. If you guys need these paint and products, you can visit jamierayvintage.com. If you have questions, we have a full-time customer service manager. It is Caitlin. She's been on here the whole time. You can email info at jamierayvintage.com. If she doesn't know the answer, she'll reach out to us. We're happy to help you. And if you like this video- it's pretty rare she doesn't know the answer anymore. She pretty much does. If you like this video, be sure to hit share. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, you guys. See you later. It's been a great Wednesday.